Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed, and today I'm here with a very interesting topic, basic versus applied research. Before we begin, press the subscribe button and click on this bell icon so you get the notification for my videos every time. Basic versus applied research. When I started my research studies, it was one of the most challenging questions. And I can imagine if you are a new graduate and you have just started to study research, you are still confused about what is basic research, what is applied research, what are these terminologies? How do we differentiate between these two? And this is why I'm creating this video. So I can tell you what is the difference between basic research and applied research. So basic research versus applied research. How do we differentiate? Basic research has three names. Remember this, basic research has three names. Basic research, pure research, fundamental research. I'll repeat again. Basic research, pure research, fundamental research. These are the three names for basic research. And applied just is applied research. Now, if you ask a new graduate, especially a medical graduate, and you ask him what is basic research, the most commonly given wrong answer is the research about basic sciences is basic research. This is the most commonly given wrong answer. So what is basic research then? Now remember, I'm telling you a very good formula to remember. Basic research is when you are conducting a research where your research question is in such a way that your answer comes out as a yes or no. If the answer of your research question is yes or no, it's basic research. So I'll repeat again. If you have a research question whose answer comes out as yes or no, it's basic research. But applied is not yes and no. Applied is the solution. And now I'll give you an example. For example, is tuberculosis prevalent in the US? The answer is either yes or no. Is COVID-19 prevalent in the US? The answer is yes or no. Is COVID-19 common in Africa? The answer is yes or no. Is malaria common in Africa? The answer is yes or no. We don't care if the answer is really yes or is no. I'm just talking about to differentiate between basic and research question. So basic research question is when you have, a, have an answer that, an, that is a yes or a no. Now, what is the applied question then? What is applied research? Applied research is when you have a research question that gives the solution. So the same research question of basic research, can it be converted into an applied research? Absolutely. It can be converted into an applied question anytime. Let me give you an example. Is COVID-19 common in the US? The answer is yes. That's the basic research question. And surprisingly, the answer comes out as yes. Now, let's do the applied research. How do we treat COVID-19? Treatment, solution is always applied. So remember the treatment. I'm giving you a shortcut to remember. Treatment is applied. Solution, finding a solution. Treatment is solution, right? So finding a solution, the treatment is applied. Now, how about how do we diagnose tuber uh, how, uh, tuberculosis? Is that a basic research question or applied? Applied. We are finding a solution. Diagnosis. What is it? Uh, how how do we di diagnose? How do we diagnose uh, COVID nineteen? How do we screen COVID nineteen? How do we prevent COVID nineteen? How do we treat COVID nineteen? How do we manage COVID nineteen? All of these are applied questions because they are all related to. The treatment, the solution. So whenever you see a research question that is answered in a yes or no, it's basic. But when you see a research question that is answered with a solution, that's applied. Simple. So from now onwards, remember pure research, fundamental research, basic research. 
is always answered in a yes and no. And applied research is always, always answered with the solution, the treatment, the management, the prevention, the screening, the diagnosis. Now, if that is the case, now where do we put these kind of questions? What is the risk factor for COVID-19? I cannot answer it as a yes or no. And this risk factor is not telling me the solution. I'm finding a cause. How is COVID-19 caused? What are the risk factors for COVID-19? What is the rate of COVID-19 transmission? What is the mechanism of COVID-19 virus? The coronavirus. What is the mechanism? How coronavirus damages the human lung? All of these are the questions you cannot answer as yes and no, and you cannot even answer it as a treatment or solution. So where do we put it? In applied or we put it in basic? Let me tell you, according to my experience, most of my students, when I ask this question, they answer it wrong. They say it's applied. Yes, applied is a wrong answer. Basic is the right answer. So remember, basic is not always, now I'm rephrasing it, basing it, basic research is not always yes and no. Yes and no is always basic, but basic research is not always yes and no. What are the causes of COVID-19 or any disease, any problem? How it happened? What is the mechanism of the disease? What are the risk factors, causes, the mechanism? All of these are pathophysiological questions. Questions related to the mechanism or pathophysiology. All of them fit into the basic category. They are exploratory in nature, but we put them in basic research just for the understanding and creating a concept. So basic research is when you have a question whose answer is yes or no, or you're finding a cause, risk factors, mechanism, pathophysiology, how it affects. Applied is always treatment solution. So applied, you don't change anything with applied. Applied, you always keep treatment solution. So just remember treatment. Applied is for treatment and solution. Now, what about if you are not a medical student? Now, you are a finance student or you are a student of history. So let's say you are the student, student of economy. So let's, let's talk about a research question. Are people rich in the US? The answer is yes or no. Now, how do we make people financially stable? That's applied. You're finding a treatment, a solution. Now, what are the causes of poverty? What are the causes of becoming rich? How some people become rich? All of this comes in basic. How do we make sure that they remain rich? That's a solution. Solution is always applied. Solution is always applied. How do they become poor? Why are they poor if some people have poverty? Now, hypothetically, I'm saying this as an example. Or not financially stable. I should use better word. Financially stable. Why some people are not financially stable? What are the causes of not being financially stable? How do we make them financially stable? How? So did you notice that applied st starts with a how? Applied starts with a how most of the time. Now what about what is the treatment of tuberculosis? This is not starting with a how, but it is again talking about treatment. So you keep it in, keep it in applied. So this is how you differentiate basic versus applied research. Basic is a yes and no, but it is also finding a cause, a mechanism, how something happened, how coronavirus damages lungs, the mechanism, the pathophysiology, the mechanism. But applied is always the solution, always the treatment. So if you remember this formula, you will never ever be confused about the difference between basic research and applied research. Thank you. Before you leave, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.